Okay guys, so today, July 4th, yay, happy America Day, happy Independence Day, all that stuff, all that cool stuff. Um, today's going to be a solo dolo day. Actually, I have my web designer who's helping me revamp the entire site before the launch. It's going to be so dope. Like, before I even graduated uh, in IT security, which I hated, um, I actually wanted to be a web designer. But my mom was always always like, Peter, web design, you made no money. So, yeah. And then, I remember about a year or two later, I saw in the magazine, web designer, one of the best things you could major in or make a lot of money in. Because obviously everything on the inter, the, just doing everything on the interwebs and everything now is just such a big thing now. So anyways, Taylor's going to come by. I think we're going to get a quick lift in. Kevin, you going to lift with us, dude? Yeah. You're doing push, right? I'm not as strong as you guys, but... Uh, That's okay, dude. You're as jacked as it. But anyways, so we're probably going to get a quick push workout in. Why don't... Kevin's Kevin's pretty sick at doing the sick angles, so maybe I'll have him make do some, like, get some sick angles, and we'll we'll do we'll do an edit. Or maybe he'll do an edit for us. Who knows? Maybe we'll see. You think you can do it, dude? Dude, I'm so good. I'm not going to brag, but I'm really good. Yeah, so we'll get that quick workout in, and then afterwards, I'm going to Johnny and Omar's house, meeting them for a BBQ for the 4th of July. I literally have like no macarons left, but you know what? F it. We're just gonna do some meat. We're gonna enjoy ourselves, and yeah, let's just let's just go. Let's just go. So far in here, I have ghost size. Uh, I honestly don't know what it does. I would just get it for free, so I use it. I don't even know if you're supposed to use it before or after. I think you're supposed to use it after your workout, but you know we're freaks, so we're gonna do it before. Two scoops of Legion Pulse which I think Josh told me doesn't have caffeine in it. It just has a bunch of other stuff to like, it's, it's, so the, the thing about Pulse, I think, is it's not supposed to get you like cracked out to work out, which I usually don't even really feel that from most pre-workouts either way. But then anyways, we have high volume con candy, cause I don't know, I like con candy. It smells really good. Does it work? I don't know. We'll see if more veins come out. What, what do you think, Kevin? Kevin actually put me on high volume. He swears by it. I mean, you got pulse, you got high I'm volume, sure. you got, got size. size. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much not natural anymore Dude, right now. You're a freak right now. Yeah. So anyways, we're gonna get this workout started. I'm gonna try all this, and then we're gonna get into the edit right now. No, 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 you gotta do three, two, one. Oh, I'm gonna be like Krishman? Yeah. Two, one. Gonna be Workout's done. Sick edit done by yours truly, Kevin. I gave him the reins on this one, guys. Let me know in the comment section if you liked it or not. Kevin does pretty much all the pictures that you see on like the eight page, and for a lot of like the DMV people around here. Good guy. Says thick too much, but he's a cool, dude. He's gonna. I'm at, He's actually gonna go take a sick picture of me right now, and then afterwards. Take you guys to the back with me and Taylor, and we're gonna work on some website stuff, and I'll show you all the cool stuff that he's doing to the website. So we'll check that in a bit. Here with Taylor, and we are gonna take a look at the old website here. So as you can see, big like thing, oh uh, carousel or whatever that's called, or whatever slider. Yeah. And then there's it's pretty, it's pretty cluttered. Like we got like performance tops, performance bottoms, accessories, get social, pretty generic layout. That's a theme. Uh, I never had a big problem with how it was laid out, but I definitely did not. I wasn't like a big fan of it. Like I didn't love it. I just kind of went with it because it's what I had. Taylor here came in to get a lift in at District, and he talked with the intern Han Min, and I guess they kind of got talking about like what you did. I guess right. Yeah. And then he told you that I was kind of looking for like a person who could like help me recode the entire website, and Taylor was just like, "Hey, I'll do it." And to be honest, I didn't take him seriously because he just kind of DM me, and I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, sure, why not?" And he came up with. 
this. Why don't you show them, to just kind of guide them through like what's going on here. So we kept the whole carousel theme, so you still have the slider, but it just looks way cleaner, it looks way sharper. Um, so instead of having scattered categories in the main page, we now have these five feature categories. Check out that hover, man. That's dope, that's just, that's just sick. So instead of having all of these other sliders for all the categories, we actually have feature pages for all of our main categories. So you can actually shop the entire men's top collection all in one page and then, you know, filter it down by other styles as well. We also have this super dope feature where you can actually do a quick add. So you can drop down, pick whatever size you want, add it to your cart. Boom. Bam. Done. In the cart. Show them the, uh, show them the product page. So here's the new product page versus the old product page. As you can see, it's long, it's cluttered. What we did here is we took all of the details and we put it into tabs. So you have your sizing, shipping info, details, all in separate tabs. So you don't have everything cluttered all in one page. Also we have, this is what you would see with everything loaded in. We have different thumbnails. We have the super dope zoom feature. We can actually scroll in, what? see the fine details, That's zoom out. Sick. We have complete this outfit. So you'll always see three random collections, whether it be another top, bottom, accessory to go with whatever you're buying. You can also view all the different colors for specific styles yep. all on the same page. And then of course your social media sharing. And then a new thing we're having is a feature video um, for all the product, different product categories. Yeah, so guys, Taylor's been working some magic. I think he put it all together. What, it's been about like two and a half weeks maybe? Yeah, about two and a half weeks. I did all of this completely custom. And he, does, and he doesn't it. even do this, like he, like, I, I, I'm a software engineer by trade, but what I do at my job is completely different from what I do here. So all of this is still fairly new to me, but this is all 100% custom built upon Shopify's framework. And this is with me talking with other, like, programmers, web developers, and they're like, oh no, we can't really, we can't really custom that too much. And Taylor's just like, no, that's stupid. Yeah, they're full of shit. Yeah, so now we have a super dope website. It's gonna be so awesome. The summer launch is gonna be just, it's gonna be crazy. So I can't wait to show you guys the final product. But thank you again, Taylor. All right, welcome. let's get some work done. I have been given full responsibility to put the stickers up. Here we go. Finally. Screw up, dude. What? You're probably not, didn't even plan on probably cleaning the glass before you put them on there either. There goes the white man thinking he can tell everyone to do everything. <laughs> Putting this on the doors outside. So obviously we gotta clean it first. And then after we clean it, we're gonna put these stickers on. Pretty much it just says, don't come inside without knocking. You can't get inside anyways, because we lock all the doors no matter what. And there's like after hours, what time to close, like we're a private facility, all that stuff. I'll show you guys what it looks like. A lot of pressure. All right guys, so first off, before we put up the signs up on here. Oh, we got a lot of like stuff, like gunk on here. Like this has like some tape and a big like, please use the other door. Oh, where are the lights? Oh, I've never turned on the lights in here before. Before my workout, sipping on some ghost, uh, blueberry pop tart or blueberry pastry that just came in. Um, I pretty much killed all my macros for the day. Not smart. Let me try it for you guys. Let me try it right now. I've already tried it before and I'm telling you, as I just said, I don't get paid by Ghost. I'm, we're not sponsored. Yeah, we do get free BCAs and we get free uh, protein whenever Max like ha gets samples and stuff. He lets us try it. But like other than that, he holds on to it because you know, because he's he is ultimately the person they're sponsoring. So he has like he is not obligated to give us free stuff. He just does it because he's like good friends with us. But. I like it so much that I bought two tubs of it. Mm. Dude, when you get those little chunks, I just make it all worth it. Let's get started on this. That just needs to be somewhat cool. Oh, okay. Let's take the camera. So. Johnny helped me measure it out. And then now I think, I don't know how, if I'm supposed to leave this on for a while. You know how much it costs to have, I think it costs like, 
they wanted like 30 or 40 dollars to like install it and then max and i are like Whoa! oh <laughs> we'll just do it ourselves and then if it doesn't work we'll be screwed so i i don't know how long i'm supposed to leave this on here but i'm like pressing no pressure Ooh. oh yeah Woo! That's nice. Let's go! Let me see what it looks like. It's actually really hard to see. Yeah, it's like super hard to see. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, that's way better. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I feel dumb. Okay, yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, the lights were on, and it was just like, I can't see anything, but like now that the lights are off, it's a lot easier to see. Okay, so done doing stuff for the day it's sad because I don't get my pancake tonight but whatever we're gonna take this high volume get this back workout in I probably just put Kevin's edit before this and all that other junk so this one will be my edit or whatever two edits in one video crazy right We did three set, no, three different exercises for back, and then two different exercises for biceps. Of course, we did SLRs, and yeah, then we did a little bit of extra, but I'm pretty burnt out. It's pretty late at right now. It's like eight or nine or something. So, probably head back home. Get that work in, intern. So, wrapping up the day, like I said, guys. Um, Max just did his ever forward launch. Cool to see a bunch of people putting in orders for him and all that, but he's leaving for 10 days. Later, dude. You gonna have fun, man? When's this video going up? Okay, so Kevin, Kevin's doing an edit, and then I'ma do an edit, so it might even be a double edit feature. So I'ma try to get it up soon. Why, what's up? I was just wondering. Oh, you I wanna judging? know, I also know when I can watch it. Make sure on the uh, on the thumbnail you use Baybass New. Yeah, okay, I told you, I told you about that font. Yeah. A while ago. I'll give credit to Peter and Joe knows best. But then the the the, the words behind you. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely not the first person to do it, but I, what I tried to do is like do what some people do like every now and then yeah. and try to make it like my staple thing and I started doing it for like two and a half months straight and now it's becoming like Yeah, but I mean okay, like, there's there's a difference. I'm not saying I can take it. Yeah. I can't take it. I'm not yeah. like but there's I a difference no, between like when no other like yeah, fitness YouTubers people are doing like it. randomly doing it like every now and then now like I've been doing it for like two and a half months and now it's just like I've been seeing it a lot more so, like a lot more on channels that didn't do it I'm just like so can we do it it looks cool I'm not that's definitely done it before me but I've been doing it consistently that's true all right well dude have fun on your trip what have fun on your trip oh yeah and then actually me and Max might be going actually not might we're gonna go to the athlete gym in August you're nasty. We're going to be Alfred Afrites, dude. All right. All right, guys. So we are finally back home. And the chicken, the chicken that I marinated is right here. Let me get some gloves while I put I've never used this new wave thing. I've used it once. So let me figure this out real quick. I'm going to do that. So I think you want to take off the entire thing. Got some gloves here so I can... Gloves down here, clean this up a little bit. It's the new wave oven. Put the foil down here, have gloves on. I don't want to get too messy here. Let me see how many pieces of chicken breast I can get on here. And I also have my little measuring thingy here. It like lets you know when like you stick it in the meat and it should tell you if it's like cooked or not, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, looks like it's on. So that's on. Plug this little guy in, or big guy in. This is a pretty big machine. There, it just popped on. 
Caution, hot surface, handle with care. Okay. Power level? Or... I guess you can't do that. Cook time. Let's do 30 minutes. Okay. 30 minutes. Start. But how hot is it? Like, I don't know how hot it is. How, it just says high. So it's done. I think I had it on setting six for 30 minutes. So let's use the, where's that little chicken meter thing I had? Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. This little meter thing. I'm not even close. Like it's only good enough for beef. Result, I ended up cooking it for like 10 more minutes under like 50 power. So a lot lower because I didn't want to make it too dry. So I'm going to cut it up. Put it in some Tupperware and then we'll have some protein for the week. So what we're gonna do tonight, I'm gonna cook up the rest of the two over here that I have marinated and I'm slicing these up right here so I can get some protein for the week. Let's see what it tastes like. This is the first bite actually, so. Let's see. Wow. That is a really juicy chicken. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not trying to size myself or this new wave thing because I don't got no discount code on no new wave, but. Mmm. That is some really good chicken. Again, guys, I, were, I just really want to. I really, really, really want to thank you guys for like. Just like helping me through this cut and everything and through my injury and all this stuff. Like, it's just awesome. All the support that I like see and get and everything uh, i really appreciate it i originally did not really want to put myself out there in social media and all that stuff i didn't really care for people to know who like the owner of ape was and all that stuff but um i genuinely do like meeting people and everyone that supports the brand and everything so thank you for supporting the brand supporting district barbell and like can't say enough about the people who come to visit the gym and like say what's up to us and just even just want to lift with us it's really cool so thanks again guys don't know if this is going to wrap up the video, but if it does, peace out, bye. Man, what a day today has been. Sorry, let me get some lighting up in here. Yeah, today's the next day. Guys, today was my second, like, kind of like legit leg day. This, I know this sounds crazy. It's not impressive, but today I was super happy. Um, did some hack squats with uh, 245s on each side. I'd say I got down to Astagrass, I think, or as much as my knee would allow me to, or as comfortable as I felt going down on my knee. Um, I loaded the bar up with, first I did bar squats. Felt good, I was like, maybe I can do 135. Was a little weary about my knee. Pulled, we did 135 for, I just did, I just did something really small. I did like five sets of five, just to get the feel in my legs again. It's just, it's just so crazy, because when I do like leg extensions and stuff, I can just see, you know, my quads have not been used in like two months almost. Like just from like doing lifting, lifting with it. And I can just see my quad is just like spazzing out. I'll, I'll like try to get Johnny or like one of the guys recorded sometime, but you could see my like quad is just like shaking. Johnny's over here. He just, finished, he just finished an epic workout with Brad Duong. Dude, it sucked actually. Yeah, you, I had like I kept, zero I, sleep. I kept hearing you said you were tired or something. Yeah, I was so tired. And then it's my reefy day, but I don't know. It was weird. I didn't get a pump, so. Oh, you didn't get a pump when you were lifting? No, I don't. Get, I don't know. But I'm excited for these pancakes. You've been hyping up these pancakes, man. I'm ready for the, the flip. And I don't know if any of you guys follow me on IG. I've been working on my flip game. Me and Johnny are about to. Get, well, I he's doing a refeed. I'm probably. I, I think I might just do one. Just, I mean, I'll probably just eat a little bit more calories a day than usual. Cause I weighed in at 171 today. It's been. I don't know, it's been, the diet's been pretty easy and the cardio's fine, so. Today I told Johnny to just come over, chill, watch some forensic files. No, Breaking Bad. He's never watched Breaking Bad before and Breaking Bad is a joke. Everyone keeps telling me to watch it and I was like, no, I'm good just watching forensic files. <laughs> but it's gotten to the point where I'm pretty paranoid everywhere I go. So, let's, we'll just film, because I, I think I filmed myself making pancakes, but like this is going to be like an epic pancake, like. We're gonna go in on these pancakes. So let's hey guys, so Chef Peter checking in here. Of course, Johnny came over, Omar came over. Good thing he's not eating because I'd have to cook triple what, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I needed more Pam. So they have coconut oil. Uh, it says zero calories, zero fat, zero carbs, zero protein. 
How, do you know how much is in these when they say, like, I'm sure you can Google it, but it's definitely not zero. But whatever, as long as you keep, like, you use it every day and you keep it the same, it's fine. Um, then I had to get this because I ran out because I've been, I've literally been like, too. I message Johnny and Omar like every day. And you guys see on my IG, like I, I make pancakes every single day. Uh, there's people who are so crazy about this. Just like, oh, you're, you're eating chemicals. You're literally drinking chemicals. I don't care. It tastes good. Shit's good. So yeah. we'll, we're, we're, we're going to start right now. This is the shredded bra, right guys? So <laughs> I don't know what he eats every morning. But it has some, oh, well, something to do with this, right? So what you do is... What do you do? Like I you get these breads, because they're really good on macros, and you toast them. And once you toast them, I don't know, have you ever had like baguettes with sugar and butter? Yeah. But I spray it with butter, and and I just put sugar... Like little, Splenda? Yeah, like, not, uh, what's the other one? The other uh, pack, but yeah, yeah, pretty stevia. much. Stevia. Yeah, Stevia, pretty much. People are gonna troll because they're like, yo, that's unhealthy, but whatever, it tastes good, and... <laughs> But uh, yeah, I pretty much put oh, that on top. But that butter spray has calories in it. Yeah, but he still shreds. So yeah, it doesn't matter. So it works. <laughs> you know. Hey, thanks, man. Look at that reflective, man. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Guys, again, this is dropping Friday. Well, this coming Friday, noon for Eastern people, West Coast, 9 a.m. Anyways, guys, this is what we're doing. So here we have Kodiak. We have Kodiak Power Pancakes, which is like high in protons. Uh, I think it only has like, I think a hundred grams of this only has like 2.6 fat Damn. and it's like, it's just normal carb. I think it's like 50 to 60 carb or something. Maybe a little more. We're going to put some chocolate morsels in it. I'm sprinkling some Oreos on. I get four crushed Oreos guys. This is why I intermittent fast because I get to eat like an epic dinner, but then I just have to like starve myself in the morning, which is not that bad because sometimes I just eat egg whites. And then we're doing this. Let me grab this real quick. We're doing this. I think I told you guys about this. Fair life fat free milk. Let me sh let me read you the macros. 80 calories, zero fat, six carb, 13 protein. A cup? Yes, a cup. And I don't even use a cup. I just kind of yeah. I kind of just like put it in there until I get like a consistency I like, which mm -hmm. is definitely not a cup. Or sometimes I'll use egg whites to mix that. And then also we're going to use Have you shown them your fridge? No. We we showed them that. <laughs> but and then also we're gonna use two eggs, four eggs, because it's me and Johnny. Um, well, let me show you guys my fridge real quick. Let me, let me take you into my house, dude. So <laughs> MTV Cribs. This is a fridge of a guy who lives by himself and is trying to get on Johnny's status. Okay, so we have nothing but egg whites and diet snapples. We have the lavash stuff, and I got a bunch of the remember that that chicken I cooked. Yeah, I've literally eaten zero of it since I cooked it, but it's good. Is that yogurt good? Yeah, I haven't eaten any of it. I was supposed to start making protein shakes. But also, let me see. Also, with the protein shakes, I bought a, like a bag of spinach because I told myself I was like, I'm gonna eat. Oh, I'm gonna make shit. a protein shake every morning with a bunch of spinach. Yesterday, I pulled out the spinach and it was Br it was like all what? watery yeah. and brown. It was so gross. You got from Costco? Yeah. So I'm eating a hundred, and since Johnny's refeeding, we'll just make all just pretty much just double up everything. So, Louie, you don't get any of these gains, dude. You're already, already straight. You already drank enough water. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah. So anyway, guys, we're two. We're a two eight over, and we're trying to sabotage Johnny anyway. So we're at two ten. We're it's fine. We'll be fine. So here, do that. Where's those eggs at, dude? Where are those right eggs? there. Oh man. Yeah. Bad eyes. All right, guys. I'm gonna show you guys. You know how experts do this. One hand. I don't know if you guys ever seen people crack eggs with one hand, but let me show you how to do it. All right. So you do this. All right. Ooh. Oh god, that was bad. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, woo! Yeah, but I, I like smashed it in my hand, so oh. now there's egg dripping all over. It. Yeah. Okay, bro. What's next? All right, guys. What's next? We're on six percent, so we got it. We every time Johnny comes over and we're cooking, we're on low percentage. See, this is with the egg. Obviously, there's still a lot of like powder left, right? You no, know, it's like really not like it's thick. You know, like you like your girls. So, <laughs> so we're we're gonna put some milk. In here, he needs some milk. Put some milk in there. Oh, just, he's eyeing it. I just kind of eye it, you know. And I and I definitely don't. I track for the day. I track that I that I put an entire cup in there. And obviously, that what I just poured in was nowhere near a cup. But like, see, this consistency for a pancake for a pancake batter is like way too thick. Like, like I know you might like you. <laughs> 
He might like, like it when she's slim thick with that cute ass, but you know, you can't do that. You can't do that when you're messing with these pancakes, dude. Gotta go like this. Oh yeah, we're getting it. We'll put a little bit of butter in there. So it just kind of gives you that like flavor of butter that I don't know if Kodiak put in there, but you know, they're trying to hire someone for that idea. They can, about that. they can always hit me up. Uh, I saw it on like an old thing, like when I used to cut. It's been a while, <laughs> but uh. This consistency, we're like, we're almost there. We'll just get a, just a little bit more milk, just a little bit. A little bit, not too much. Oop. Oh, there we go, that's good. All right, all right, guys, and then we'll cut to the, uh, we'll cut to the pancake flipping and then we'll show the end result. Me and Johnny. Yeah, two seconds. Two seconds? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Two, two percent. Okay, so we're pretty much just splitting this Halo Top. 64 grams for one serving, so 64 times two is What's 64 times two, Johnny? Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, 64 times two. You say you don't know? Who knows, maybe we don't even need two servings. Maybe we can just get away with one serving. Put off with pancakes here. Let's get that pour going on, dude. Oh, oh yeah. And then I'll keep it over there while we watch. Break it bad, uh, right? Yeah, whatever you want, dude. Fine. And then we have crushed up Oreos, guys. Top it off. Yeah. God, we saved these macros, dude. And I was actually supposed to have four crushed Oreos, but I only did two. So I have an entire serving of Halo Top that I didn't do and two Oreos, which is actually a decent amount of macros, guys. So anyways, that'll wrap up the video, guys. Thank you for tuning in. And peace out. Bye. Later.